Hello again. We will be including our new sound in our building speed routine. And here you have a couple of picture prompts. Dog, d, and sand. And we can hear nd at the end. And that's going to be our consonant blend. So, let's get going. Write the letter or letters you need for the sounds you hear. D. D. Is. D. Oh, I think I'm going to need to write that one again. D. Is. D. That looks better. And. And is N D. O. O is O. Mm. And my tongue is right at the back of my mouth. Mm is N G I I is I G G is G Is B. K. K. Is C. H. H. Is H. Is C T S, S is S Sk Sk is S Is S P A A is A P P is P And my teeth are on my tongue. Th or uh. Th or uh. R T H. Both of those sounds use the same letters. And the last one. M. Mm. Mp is M P Okay So the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at my letters and see which ones I think I need to have another shot at and definitely H and CT, where it's a bit of a confusion, but 
between where the C ends and the T begins. So let's have another go at those. I'm going to put them right down here. Is H. That's a bit better. And KT. KT is C. T. Let's try not to model those up. There we go. Leave a gap between the two letters. Okay. Let's go back to the beginning and say the sounds we'd say if we were reading. D. And. O. Mm. E. How did you get on? Well done. Now, do I need an apostrophe op? Am I going to be writing where I've joined two words together and omitted a letter or more than one letter? Am I going to be writing about something that somebody possesses? Let's have a think. That is, but I'm going to write that's. I'm going to omit the space between the words and the letter I. That's. So apostrophe for omission. And we know what pattern favourite spot is listening to his music and this time we have cats in their favourite spot where they can curl up together so what do we do when there's more than one well we write cats Adding suffix s to show there's more than one. We add that first and then we put the apostrophe after that suffix s. The cat's spot is their favourite. And here we have the letters and sounds that we covered in part one. And remember, when you do them, you can go a different way around. Sn is SN. We've started at the end, or maybe we are going to go up and down through our letters. Choose any order you like so that you are having to think every time. And we have our reminders of when to use suffix s. And if you like, you can go back to part one of Shapes and Sounds and do the building speed in lesson nine. Building speed for capitals includes all of the letters from part one and part two. And then you can be the teacher to go over the lowercase letters. Thank you for joining me.